Can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling, we could get out of town. See the beautiful world around, wanna see it now. Hey everyone, welcome to the Farm and Pastor's Wife. I'm so glad you are here. Do you not just love my shirt that my friend sent me? One of my sweet viewers sent this piece, love and chickens. So today is Monday. Um, Mondays are usually a recovery day for us because it's the day after um, Sunday, obviously, and it's the day we have, Sunday's the day we just kind of pour out and pour out and pour out all day, and so Mondays is kind of a recovery day, but I had these huge, enormous plans that I was going to do today. I had decided that I am going to start cleaning my carport, getting rid of junk. Let me tell you, farmers are the world's worst <laughs> to hoard stuff. They keep everything because they may need it to fix a piece of equipment or to to for any reason they keep everything and it gets a little extreme plus you add on the fact that we both basically have between the two of us we have like four full-time jobs and then you add on family and grandbabies and all that good stuff so we don't have a lot of time to Sometimes we just throw stuff on the carport or throw stuff in the porch or we just don't have time to fix things up. And so I had these grand plans that I was going to clean out the carport, start beautifying the yard, landscaping a little prettier, uh, even the outbuildings that we have, making them look a little nicer and working in the front I had all these huge plans and I was going to start it today. I even laid my clothes out because usually when I get up, I come sit in the recliner in my pajamas. I have all my coffee until Bryant heads to the farm. Then I get up and get dressed and start about my day. Well, I even got up this morning. I put clothes on as soon as my feet hit the floor and uh, had to come in and had my coffee. Then I had to go to the farm for a little while this morning. And then I remembered, I keep my grandbaby two days a week, my oldest grandson, I keep him two days a week. Um, so that helps his parents out a lot. And I only have two more weeks of that before he starts kindergarten. And so this week and next week, I want to make it all about him and fun things with him. I don't want to start a project and feel like I have to work on it while he's here and can't spend time with him and do fun things with him and making him work, although making him work is a good thing. But uh, I want the next two weeks just to be fun for him. And I hate to start a project and then get interrupted and have to stop it. So I think I'm gonna hold off on starting the outside cleaning. Plus it's gonna be like, the heat index is well over 100 today here. And uh, I don't think I can be out there and do that because I do overheat because I don't sweat. So um, I think we're going to save that for two weeks from now. And I'll start it then. It's going to be like a long process, but I will, I'll start it a couple of weeks from now. So I've just been working in the house today. I have stripped my bed. I've washed, my sheets are in the wash. And... Um, so yeah, I'm just basically doing inside stuff. I've committed that the TV will not be on unless I'm like sitting down for lunch or sitting down for something, but no TV and I'm just working. So today our supper is going to be sim simple, but it's going to be delicious. We're going to make a stuffed chicken breast and it is going to be fantastic. And I'm going to show you how easy, how simple it is to make we're just going to have fun. And I have a piece of equipment that I've ordered. Uh, I bought and paid for it. It's not sponsored or anything. 
I bought this piece of equipment because I wanted to try it and I'm dying for it to come. It comes tomorrow. And so I'm hoping it comes before, well, I don't care when it comes, but as long as it comes tomorrow, it's coming through FedEx. So who knows when I'll get it, but, um, I'm hoping it comes tomorrow. So, okay. All right, I'm gonna get off here, finish cleaning, and when I get ready to cook, I will bring you back. And whatever fun stuff I do with Judabug this week, I'm bringing you guys along with us because I know you all love him as much as I do. And well, maybe not as much as I do, but y'all love him. And um, ugh, I just can't hardly bear the thought of him starting school already. These five years have flown by so fast. And I could absolutely cry. I think I'm going to cry talking about it. But, and you know, they change once they go to school. Uh, some things are for the better. Some things they are for the worse. Like, I know I'll no longer be his hero anymore. And I know that my lap will soon be, it, you know, not be his thing. And, um, but he is such a loving child. So I hope he doesn't lose that sweet loving spirit. Um, but, and then he's also going to mature, which is a good thing. He's going to learn, um, boundaries and, and, and how to respect people's things and so forth. So I'm, uh, there's good things that come with starting school and then there's bad things and we're well, not bad things, but growing up is kind of sad for us older folks that just want to keep them little and in our lap and hugging on us and loving on us all the time. But that's a me problem. <laughs> so, all right. I will bring you back when we get ready to start on the chicken. Whoops, sorry. <sighs> okay, everybody, so let's get the filling because we're going to stuff this chicken with some good stuff. I got an inspiration of this dish on another channel, and so I'm just going to change it around to make it more like me and what we would like. So I'm going in with some cream cheese. We're just gonna work on the filling right now. I'm gonna give it a good little sprinkling of, that was garlic powder, some black pepper, some onion powder, and I would say a half a teaspoon to a whole teaspoon in this. This is one of my favorite things I like to season with. Now I know Somebody said it has MSG. Let's see. It does have maltodextrin in it. Yikes. Um, anyway, um, so if you need a different ranch dressing or a different season, this just n does not bother me. So about a tablespoon of the ranch dressing. Let me grab my salt. I know one of the pet peeves <laughs> of my channel is that um, I don't have things measured out and ready and set out and ready. And that's just not who I am. And I'm going to show you who I am, the real Leslie. Yes, I could prepare ahead of time, but when I'm cooking, even if I'm not filming, I haven't prepared things ahead of time. I've just, I'm getting them out. The only thing I prepare ahead of time is usually laying out my eggs and butter for a cake and getting them to room temperature. Okay, and so to this, I'm also gonna add a fourth to a half a cup of Parmesan cheese. This is gonna be good, so good. All right, and we'll set that aside real quick and I'm going to seed and slice up a jalapeno pepper. And I just cut the top off and then I cut it right down the center. You can take a spoon or a knife, since I have a knife out and I don't have a spoon out. And then I just kind of reach in here and there you go. That's all it took. I just take my finger and scrape out that membrane. And uh, we like the flavor of jalapeno. I don't mind the heat so much, but Bryant's not a fan of the heat, but he does like the flavor. And I've been making jalapeno poppers like crazy. In fact, I have the stuff to make them again. Um, and he loves jalapeno poppers, loves them. 
Like we could just sit. I made like 10 the other day and we could just sit and eat the whole plate in one setting and even let that be our supper. <laughs> but I left a little bit of membrane in this one and that'll add just a little bit of heat, but not too much for him since I didn't leave the seeds and all the membranes. And you could do two jalapenos, you could do three. I'm just going to go with one. All right. All right. And I'm just going to add that into my mix. I'm going to need this for my chicken breast because I've got to cut them in a way that I create a little pocket. And I'm not sure which way I want to do that, but we will, we'll see. So again, what I have in here is salt, pepper, jalapeno pepper, Parmesan cheese, garlic powder, onion powder, and ranch dressing mix. And I'm gonna have to go in with my hands to get this all mixed together, but you want it all incorporated. going to be so good. All right, I'll be back in just a minute. Hey, Come on in. I've been out working. What He's you been out. I'm making the cheese mixture that we're going to stuff our chicken breast Ooh, with. That sounds good. It's going to be delicious. It's not going to be too spicy, is it? Nope, just one jalapeno, no seeds, no membrane. Okay, I don't like spicy stuff. <laughs> they know. All right, we'll be back in just a second when we start working on the chicken breast. All right, everybody, I have these two huge chicken breasts here. I've trimmed them up a little bit, not fully, but a little bit. And I thought about cutting them like lengthwise and making the pocket in the length, but I think I'm gonna cut them straight down the middle and then create a pocket on either side. So, this is how I've seen it done on television. And I, I mean, I've seen it both ways, but I'm not go, trying not to go all the way through. And I'm gonna create a little pocket sideways this way. Thank you. My sweet husband came in to play cameraman. Oops, I may have cut it all the way through. That's okay. We're just creating a pocket. So we're going to do this one the same way, trying not to go all the way through. And the meat kind of pulls as you use your finger. You can go in there and, and then so I'm going to go in this way and create a little pocket. So we're just going to stuff it good with this cheese mixture. So see, I've created a pocket straight down and two off to the side. If Bryant had not been outside working and that's what he needed to be doing, <laughs> he would have been doing this part. This is the part I don't enjoy. So now we're just gonna take our mixture and work it in. So I'm gonna start working this one in first, just stuffing it in. Then, Bryant, guess what we're gonna do? After we get it all stuffed, yeah, we're, we're gonna wrap it with, with bacon. bacon. All right, so I think I got this one pretty good. Got it stuffed good. I want to salt and pepper it um, before I wrap it in bacon. But there we go. Look how pretty that closed up. All right, so let's start stuffing in this one. I think this is going to be absolutely amazing and delicious. And I will take the gloves off to do the bacon because they're too big for my hands. 
<laughs> they don't I, at the store I can't find small I probably could order them but all right I'm just being sure to get all of this goodness stuffing it in there oh gracious mercy me this is going to be so good all right let me um take the gloves off get the salt and pepper get the bacon package open and we'll be back in just a little bit okay so notice i have my air fryer basket out and that's what we're going to do these in we're going to use the air fryer but if you don't have an air fryer, don't worry. You can do these in the oven. Just set them on a rack in a cookie sheet, wrap them in bacon, and just cook them until they're done. The internal temperature is done. I'm going to start my air fryer on about, I think I'm going to do 375 for about 45 minutes, just because these are super huge chicken breasts. Normally, it wouldn't go that long. So, okay, I'm giving them a nice sprinkle of salt. And a nice sprinkle of, even though there's, whoops, that's garlic. Even though there's black pepper in the mixture, we're going to put a little black pepper on the outside of the chicken. That one has a little extra garlic. Okay. All right. So now we're going to start wrapping. And we're going to wrap the whole entire thing. I'm actually going to start in the middle. This is going to be the hard part. Okay. All right. So I'm going to wrap these all the way around. I'll meet you back here when I get them completely wrapped because this might not be pretty. Okay, everyone. Here they are. I'm going to put them in my air fryer basket. Let's see how easily I can transfer this. Quite easily. All right. That's going in the air fryer. Like I said, I think I'm going to check it at the 30 minute. I'm going to go 375 for 30 minutes, but I have a feeling it'll need to go to 45. So I'll see you back when supper is ready. Well, y'all, it looks like it's going to be just a day. Let me, yep, it's on. <laughs> it looks like it's going to be a day just full of cooking for us here in the kitchen. I had laid out an extra cream cheese, so I thought, hey, let's make a snack food. So we're gonna make some buffalo chicken dip. Um, we're gonna make it so we can have it with, that's the one thing I miss the most is my snack foods. Like I used to love Ruffles potato chips and Food Line brand French onion dip. <laughs> and, um, salsa and tortilla chips and so i've missed those things so i thought this is something we can have we can eat it with either um celery which i don't have at the moment or some um pork rinds which i do have so i put in here an eight ounce thing of cream cheese and i'm just going to take a big spoonful of sour cream maybe a half a cup i'm going to add in um just some whatever cheese you have uh, I, I was looking for mozzarella in the refrigerator and this just popped in my eyes first so i'm just going to put a nice little handful of this is uh mexican four cheeses so i'm gonna put a nice generous amount of that i'm going to put some garlic I need to go get my ranch dressing that I use. I'd already put it up, so let me go grab it. I'm just going to leave the camera rolling while I get it. Again, I am not prepared, but that's okay because that's how I roll. That's who I am. And I'm glad y'all love me anyway. All right, I'm going to put a good amount. You know, maybe a fourth of a cup. 
of the ranch dressing. Now you could, you could leave out the sour cream and just add bottled ranch dressing. I left my spoon in my sour cream in case I need to add some more. And I believe I am. Well, let me add the hot sauce first. Calls for about a half a cup of Frank's hot sauce. Might as well went in with the whole thing. All right. That's looking really good. Really, really good. I think I am just going to add the whole thing of Frank's. Might as well. There wasn't much left. I splattered it on my new t-shirt. All right, and so to this, I have two cans of drained chicken breast. Now y'all, I know everybody's first goes, oh, chicken breast, canned chicken breast. But y'all, this is absolutely the cleanest. I get this at Sam's, and let me list you the ingredients chicken breast meat, water, salt, no preservatives, no MSG, 98% fat free, fully cooked. I'm telling you, that's some pretty clean chicken breast if you ask me. And I'm totally fine with using it, especially in dishes like this. Now I have some of my home canned chicken and y'all that was the best stuff I've made. I mean, I've canned. The, the canned chicken is something I will try to always have at least one on my shelf of. And that's exactly what I have now is one. And I do kind of save those for like casseroles and stuff when I don't have time to cook a chicken breast or whatever. So um, what I'm doing now is breaking up these big chunks of chicken. Probably should have done that first, but hey. We're just winging this. This is something I thought of at the last second. And we're just going to do it as we go. I'm, if I'm seeing chunks of chicken, I kind of push it up against the side of the bowl to break it up. Because when we're dipping, we don't want a big old hunk of chicken. Most of the time when I eat casseroles, most of the time I don't like finely chopped up chicken. I want to get big chunks of chicken. But in this, this is a dip that's going to go on pork rinds. Then, yes, I want it to be pretty fine. So that's why I'm just going through it, making sure. All right, let me grab some spray and I'll spray my dish here. Y'all, I think the world is under a plague right now, and that's the plague of gnats. They're everywhere. And I don't have any fruit, no trash, no potatoes, nothing. And I still have gnats. And y'all, I told you, I, I can go anywhere, like restaurants. I can go to um, CVS. I went to CVS to get our medication, and they had gnats. I'm like, what is up with the gnats this year? The gnats, the fire ants, and what else? I had plenty of Japanese beetles too, but I don't think they were abnormally so, but. Oh my goodness, the gnats are about to kill me. All right, my oven is preheated at 375. And this is, um, I don't know, I guess it's, it's not a square pan, but it would be the equivalent of an 8x8 or a 9x9 um, dish. I sprayed it with some coconut spray and got my oven set to 375. I think I said 350, but it's at 375. We're going to let it go about 10 to 15 minutes. And then see what we need from there. Sorry, I know that bugs some of y'all, but 
I'm not going to stop. All right. I just needed to get that done. And it wasn't worth stopping the video for. <laughs> okay. Going in the oven, like I said, for about 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, so we are nowhere near ready for supper, but the chicken's ready. We're going to try it. We're going to give it a bite and then just heat it up for supper tonight. And one of the things that she gets asked often, are these the Rada yes. knives? Yes, the gray ones are the Rada. If it has, a, if you see me use one that has a black handle, it's not. But okay. these silver ones, yes, are the Rada. All right, here we go. And it's done, right? Yeah. Well, the thermometer says it's done. And it's hot, right? Yeah. All right. I'm Oh, oh yeah, look it's done. Oh, look at here. Oh, look at stuff squirting out. <laughs> look at there. Gonna bring it right He's here. gonna bring it to show you. It looks like a chicken cordon, cordon blue, blue but exactly. doesn't have ham in it. Doesn't have ham. Or Swiss cheese. I don't even know how to eat this. Well, we better let it cool. <laughs> oh, why? Hmm? That's not fun. That's not fun. You ready? I'm ready. All right. I was just waiting on you to get caught up. It's hard to slice, ain't it? It is, especially with that bacon on it. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm ready. You go first. Well, I got to blow it. Is my mic on? I yeah, my is. mic's on. Did you get some of the creamy goodness? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It's so good. That is restaurant good. That is restaurant good. I'll that, agree. That is an eighteen dollar entree right there, all day long, with some sides. Maybe mm -hmm. a twenty dollar entree. Man, I get a little heat, but not a whole lot of heat. And, and it and it comes at the end. It don't. It's not there in the beginning. It's not present in the beginning. That oh, is, that is really good. And the bacon, you. you may not have to have as much bacon, but the bacon gives it a, a subtle twist. Don't you think, mm -hmm. Mom? And it holds it together. Uh -huh. mm. We better quit. Mm -hmm. We're going to have no supper. We won't have supper. <laughs> you want to cook it till the internal temperature is hundred and at least 165. And mine, I did it in the thickest area and the thinnest, and I moved it around, and it was... 165 or over everywhere, so that is delicious. That dog will hunt right there, I'm telling you. <laughs> it is so good. Mm. All right, well, stay tuned. We'll try the, um, I'll try, he'll probably be out working the buffalo chicken dip in just a little bit. Mmm, that's good. That's good. Good. I literally had to hide our chicken or we were not going to have anything for supper. So I thought I would go ahead and give you. First, let me bring it to you so you can have a look at it. <clears throat> this is so beautiful. So gorgeous. Look at there. And so I'm going to give this a taste for you. And then I can get this video edited and out to you guys. All right. It's still hot. Now, I would serve it cold or hot. Either one. Mm. I'll, next time, next bite, I'll cut the microphone off. But Oh, that is good. That is so good. I know a new snack. I know I'm not supposed to snack, but if I have to snack, this is going to be delicious. Okay, I'm cutting the mic off.
Hopefully you can hear me again, but oh my goodness, that is so good. Now, I think Bryant will like it. I don't know how he'll feel about the heat. There's not, to me, it's not a lot, but it might be to him. So, um, mm, that is so good. Now, y'all, I didn't measure everything when I put in here. But I would say, as far as the seasonings go, a half to a full teaspoon, um, maybe three tablespoons of the Hidden Valley Ranch, probably a half a cup of the um, sour cream, a half a cup of the Frank's hot sauce, and an uh, eight ounce thing of cream cheese, and maybe a half to a whole cup of cheese. Um, I'm going to kind of put approximate measurements in the description, but as you saw, I didn't measure anything. So you just measure with your heart. That's what I hear people say online, on other channels. They say, measure with your heart. So that's going to be my new motto. <laughs> measure with your heart. Okay, so I'm going to sit down so I can get this out to you guys. I don't even know if I can remember what I put in everything, but both both recipe descriptions were kind of i i was inspired by, both of these were inspired by other people and other recipes but i changed things around a bit to make it more for us and so i'm not sure i can remember exactly what i did so the recipe just know that the recipe in the description will be approximate not necessarily complete all right I'll see you guys in a minute. Bryant's phone's ringing. Okay, everybody, that's it for today. Such delicious, delicious food. That is so delicious. So I always have to check, make sure my mic's on. So delicious that I had to hide the chicken or we were not going to have supper tonight. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I've got a piece of equipment coming tomorrow. A new kitchen gadget that I've ordered. I just had to have and um so we'll see we'll, we'll try different things you know i have that keto chow stuff we're gonna make stuff with that then i'm gonna make stuff with just i'm gonna look at the recipe book and we're just gonna try it out it's not gonna be a promotion or anything because it they didn't reach out to me or anything i'm not an affiliate it was something i wanted so we're just gonna do a product reviews but I'm not sure when it'll come and when we'll get that done, but tomorrow it's going to be cooking with children. We're going to make decadent cheesecake brownies. Woo! Judah's going to have a ball. I'm going to see if he'll spend the night with me tonight. So, okay, I will see you guys tomorrow. Remember, if the grease is hot enough, you can fry anything. Bye, y'all.